What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of our goalie career. I figured today we'd get things kicked off by taking a look at the standings. It's been about two months now. We're nearly into December hockey. It'd be nice just to kind of get a picture of where the Pacific and the rest of the NHL is leading up to this point. So we do have a matchup against Colorado coming up, but let's take a quick look. We have finally finished that Eastern Conference swing. It was a pretty good road trip. We had, what, two losses, a win, two wins, two wins, two losses, one overtime loss, picking up... But five points in that span, not a horrible effort. We'll take a quick look here on the right. You can see the Oilers are actually off to a pretty solid start, picking up where they left off last season with that cup final run. Us, we're in second place with 28 points, 13, 7, and 2. But then you got somebody like the Kraken and the Ducks. These are the two surprises coming out of the Pacific in this game for me. You got Kraken at 13, 8, and 2 for 28, tying us for that second and third spot. Then the Ducks are ahead of the Canucks, barely with the same record, 12-8-1, and one, tied for 25 points. But if you look from 1st to 8th, the Sharks are only 10 points back. So this race is surely not done. There's a lot of season left, a lot of hockey. We kick things here off against the Colorado Avalanche. Another away start for us in Denver, Colorado. You can see 10-9-3. Maybe not quite the start they were looking for as, uh, as a team here, but... I mean, these guys need no introduction. You know the names. McKinnon, McCarr, Rantanen, Landeskog, you name it, they got it. It's going to be probably our toughest matchup so far. I feel like I say that all the time, but it's it's truly what we're, what we're... You'd think you'd go into a soft matchup and they end up being really good. And then the harder teams are just playing really well as well. So it's just... It's a, it's a recipe... Well, you know what? It's not a recipe for disaster. It's a recipe to show the coach that we can handle these pr big pressure moments and not just in one game, but across multiple games in the season. So let's get things kicked off. Like I said, we're headed out to uh, Denver, Colorado for this matchup back on the Western Conference. Let's see if we can't put two more points, two more points up on the board and build off that Montreal game we had in the last video. So here we go as Anthems finish up. The lights will come up for puck drop against the Avalanche and the Golden Knights here at Ball Arena. Is that actually what it's called now? Has it been the Ball Arena for a while? I feel like that's that sounds new to me. Anyway, Denver, Colorado, puck drop, Eichel against McKinnon, and Eichel will win that draw cleanly. Petrangelo now looking across. It'll be Nathan McKinnon, and we got a, a test here early as Nichushkin will throw that on one. Oh my gosh, please, 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 please. It was a desperation save against the somewhat breakaway chance by Valeri Nachushkin. In a tense moment as we struggled to get back up to our feet. And Petrangelo nearly skating that one straight into the back of the net. Nachushkin now goes for another shot. We'll block that one in. Tested early already. This top line of Casey Middlestat, which I believe came in from Buffalo at the deadline last year. Is that right? Or was he a off-season acquisition? I think he was with the team at the deadline last year. Then obviously, the super gifted, super fast, Nathan McKinnon, MVP of last season. And to round it off, you got Nachushkin, which would make me think the second line in this game would likely be Rantanen, Landeskog, and Druin, if I had to guess. Which honestly, you should probably put one of those guys with McKinnon. But very dangerous top two lines. And we are hemmed in already as McCarr looks for a shot lane. Loses it to Holtz. Holtz now back up to Petrangelo, who saucer passes it to an offside Barbashev. But more importantly, that full pressure in the first four minutes is alleviated. A great start here from Colorado. Need the boys to pick it up a little bit. And that's what we've been dealing with the last few games as well. Big hits. The EA special. They love their big hits. Carlson now face off. He loses it to Ranton in the big forward. Man, there's some big players in the NHL these days. I mean, I know that's no secret, nothing new, but you really look at them in-game, and it's like, holy crap, they're big guys. Like, Ranton looks massive. You got Josh Manson on the blue line. He's big. Even Landis Gog's a pretty big body. But nowadays, kids are coming into the NHL at, like, 18 years old, and they're already, like, 6'2", 6'3", 200 pounds. The NHL is a big sport. And that's why anytime a smaller guy cracks the league, it's like, is he actually going to make it? Or is he going to struggle? And then you got guys like Bedard, who's tiny and amazing. And uh, he proves people wrong all the time as a redirection in front. Actually, that may have just been off my pad and up and over. I'm not quite sure if McKinnon hit that where he wanted to. It was a nice hard shot. We are hemmed in again. 5-0 to shots to kick this one off. 
We're 13 minutes left in the first period. We need a response here soon. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty sure Rantanen just shoved that into my glove. There's some goalie stack comparison. Georgiev, 18 starts with a 9-2-2 save percentage. So I'm wondering if the goals are just not falling for Colorado. If they have a 10-9-3 or whatever it was record. You got a goalie that has a 9-2-2 save percentage through that many games. I feel like it's probably uh, goal production. As we are being peppered here with shots. Another great opportunity across the crease. Bounces back to Makar who takes a shot. And our goaltender is a little tired with the red stamina bar. Eichel and his line mates trying to respond here. Hurdle shovels that one towards the net. It goes just wide. Jonathan drew in now with a burst of speed. He gets past his man. Tries to find Gabriel Landeskog, but does not. Rants into now with a hard shot. Trickles wide and Captain Gabriel Landeskog, but it's going to be Thomas Hurdle. Does he have enough speed coming off this full pressure? No, he loses it. McNabb helps him out, and it's just a bit of a sloppy entry. Still zero shots for the Golden Knights as Kolasar will lay a body onto the Avalanche player. Back in front to Wah. Wah returns the favor. It goes off the pads and wide. That's our first shot now. Gerard finds... Ranson in who gets it up to Duren. Or sorry, I guess that was Landeskog. Back in front. Rebound. We make another big save. And we are scrambling now, ladies and gentlemen. Ten shots through ten minutes. Holy Mackinac. Loses the puck and it scores to Duren who finds Nachushkin coming off the bench. Valeri Nachushkin winds up. We'll shovel that one in. I almost wish that I actually, like, covered that one. Because we are in a world of pain right now. The car from behind the net. Tries to shovel it to an open McKinnon who had a stick in the air ready for the one-timer. Holy crap, I can't even talk. Angelo up to Theodore. Theodore now tries to find space. And I mean, these guys on the blue line for Avalanche are just destroying any play that we try to step up. The Chushkin now gets it down deep to Nathan McKinnon. One-on-one -on -one with Angelo. He will go between his legs, look for a trailing player and finds it. Well, I just slid so far. I feel like I'm moving a lot faster in the crease since putting points into speed. We might have to be careful with the the butterfly and sliding. We might overslide it like over here sometimes. And there's a goal. I missed it. Shane Theodore, my boy, as I'm playing around in the crease like a dummy. The boys come down the ice, and it's going to be Shane Theodore who gets rewarded. We'll have to have a look at this. Fourth goal of the season now from the defenseman. Probably my fav favorite and most reliable player so far in our playthrough. Oh my gosh, what an unlucky bounce. It goes off the numbers, off the nameplate, and into the back of the net. A good little saucer play in front. A nice hard shot, I might add. But you can just see that Georgiev... Is it... Okay. I need you guys to comment and, and let me know. Is it Georgiev or Georgiev? I don't know how he's pronouncing it right now. Not that it matters. But he just gets that one off his back, unable to find it, and it just slowly rolls in. And that is a one-goal lead on, honestly... Not the most deserved first period, but we will surely take it. Our second shot beats the goaltender. Now this Colorado team, we're going to have to keep an eye throughout the regular season. I'm really interested to see how Georgiev bounces back. He came into last season, signed that contract. And to be honest, he was very lackluster, struggled a lot in net. And that's what bit them in the butt. They have a strong enough team up front. This year regular season underway and it really hasn't been the best showing for him again a lot of high scoring games not the most comfortable looking in net and we'll have to see if art will imitate reality in this game so far a good start from him 9-2-2 but a goal like that that sucks to have happen Hannafin now behind gets it off the pad it squirts right in front but Kale McCarr makes a great defensive play and strips out of Petrangelo's wide open chances. He slipped down. Eichel now back between the legs to Hurdle. Hurdle stops and finds Stone who winds up. Gets his own little mini rebound off the stick of the car. And hits that off the shin pads. Back down into the Vegas territory. Also keep commenting on these video guys. It's my favorite part of these videos to be honest with you. It's just, you know, trying to interact with the guys. Uh, you guys are posting what you feel like is going on with the playthrough how you're observing the nhl game as a whole leave any comments questions concerns i will do my and suggestions for that matter and i'll do my best to uh continue to answer as many as i possibly can there's been some uh what a save in front desperation again gets up we'll hold that thought for just a moment gerard now samuel gerard with a shot and a tip in front to now 
full pressure as our goalie has absolutely zero stamina. And that puck, thankfully, thankfully goes up and over into the glass. And we'll get a little bit of breath, breath of fresh air. Arturi Lekkanen. What happened here? Big hit. Big typical EA hit. Loses his bucket. Looks injured. Seems to be okay. You heard Cheryl Pounder say he likely stayed in this one. He is limping off, but I'm wondering if that's because the period's ending or if he actually has a game-ending injury. And that's the stupid EA hits that uh, they keep keeping the game. They love them. It injures players. It's unrealistic, but hey, here we are. 250 left in the first. Yeah, anyway, to continue that thought, like I've seen a lot of comments and, and some good suggestions. A couple of you guys have pointed out making either more games per video, making the videos longer. I think we're in a pretty healthy spot with the length of one game at seven minutes. But what I will do, once we get closer to the playoffs and once we assume we are a playoff team, I'll probably look to make those videos a little bit more, you know, thematic, entertaining, maybe longer periods, a little more stressful. Change it up for the playoffs. But we're still a long way off from that. Same with if you guys want to see like a jersey selection or something that I haven't used. We already have the red jersey lined up for that home game, as I've mentioned before. Yeah, just keep crushing it. It's been so much fun, guys. I, I talked about how thankful I was in the last video, but it, it remains true every single every single day, every single week. You guys are making these videos so much fun. And then I've seen some comments that are like, can't wait for the trade deadline. And I'm right there with you. Anytime we do these be a pro playthroughs, I love getting to the trade deadline and seeing what the GMs do around the league. Because usually it's chaotic. There's a ton of like, oh man, I did not see that change coming. And now that we're in just about December, it's not going to be far off. Like, I don't know, maybe 10 more videos. We're probably already going to be at the deadline. Now, if we keep playing good hockey and the coach uses us more, there may be more videos, but you never know. What a messy first period we've had here. 19.4 on the clock. We have 15 shots against. But it's the difference of the Shea Theodore shot going in just off the back of Georgiev is the one nothing tally right at the end of the period. A good effort, but Landis Scott coming back to help out. And that'll do it for the first 20 minutes here at Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. Big hit again here on Sam Gerrard. Oh my gosh, every hit is just so bone crushing. It's so weird. All right, we got another 20 coming up for you guys. There's your matchup passing much better from Colorado. Zone possession much better, but it's that one nothing goal that leads it, baby. Let's get set for the second period. Now they just showed a, a quick replay of Gabriel Landeskog. Now I, I do hope he plays this year. I, I really do. That documentary on, or series, I guess, the face-off series showed the story on him and it's just such a shame what happened. I mean, such a freak cut on a part of his muscle that you normally wouldn't think based on where the padding is. Ended up coming back when he thought was healthy, played through the injury in the playoffs. And then it just made it worse. Just some root damage to that muscle. But he's missed the last few years. He sounds like he's on his way back or at least going to try to come back. You just hope the best for him. McKinnon now strips that one away. He had a step, but he deal decides to deal back to Nachushkin, who respots McKinnon, aims for the shot. Once again, the kid is holding on strong. Come on, boys. That was a very mediocre period at best. Yes, you were rewarded from a good play and a great little pinch from the defenseman. But it has been all Colorado in this one so far. Hurdle now gets the puck. Tries to go around. What in the God's green earth was that? Hello, Thomas Hurdle? Was that necessary? 12th of the season now for Thomas Hurdle and the second goal of the game for the Vegas Golden Knights. What is this open ice BS? Deke, Deke. Boom, what a shot though. I just feel like the, the double Deke was a little uh, showboaty in front of Kale McCarr there. Somehow that worked. As you see, McCarr's stick almost picked that one up. What a beautiful shot though. Hurdle has an absolute cannon of a wrist shot. That's his 20th point. You can see Jack Eichel at the top with 31. Barbashev holds both with 22. And that's the start of a second period you won after getting a gift of a period. We should not have won that first one. Petrangelo will try to bring it right back into the Colorado zone and it's stripped away. Nachushka now. He gets hit off the, and you can just hear bodies getting demolished. The hits are so lame. <laughs> Carlson now. 
Carlson streaks and gets it in front, and what a play! See, that's a beautiful play. No chance for Georgiev on that one. And oh my word, Alexander Holtz with his 10th. It's a beautiful full little feed. Gets, I believe that was Barbashev who fed him. Yeah, basically a two-on-one against Kale Makar. You think Barbashev's gonna shoot. You see Georgiev go down into that animation, and it's a pass right across the seam, and Holtz makes absolutely no mistake. Wide open and beats the goaltender for Vegas' third goal now. And a wonderful start to the second period. 3-0. Let's go, baby. He jumps up to 20. Oh, that was actually Mark Stone who was also tied at 22. Wow. That was unbelievable from that second line. All three guys getting involved. Carlson to Barbashev who spots Holtz. And a beautiful finish to a beautiful play. White Cloud now up to Hannafin. Noah Hannafin spots Holtz. Holtz back in. He tries going to the front of the net with that puck. Here we go, Barbashev now. And Holtz, <laughs> off balance, just tries to shovel that one onto, Rant or onto uh, Georgiev. Rantanen is the one with the puck. In front to Landeskog. Landeskog redirects that on, but loses his footing. And we'll be able to hold on for our 18th save of the game. Big hits all around that time. It's Landeskog laying the body on his man. To be played in this period. Vegas is added to their lead. Get your hot dogs here! I love that you hear that randomly in the, these arenas when the, the crowd is quiet. Great play there again to find Mark Stone. The slow skating Mark Stone typically finds space just because of his size and strength, but he's not known for his good skating. Hurdle now beats his man, and that goes right back to Eichel, who tries to slip that in short side. A great save by Georgiev. Michael now, maybe getting booed from a couple hits earlier on, or just the fact that he's been an absolute unit for the Vegas Golden Knights. Good passing play leads to nothing. O'Connor will get that up to, I believe that's Miles Wood. The boo birds are out for Eichel. Mark Stone drop pass to Hurdle. Hurdle with another hard shot. And a great save by Georgiev, where we're finally in double digits for shots. Eight and a bit. Off this period, there you go. We finally overtake Gorgiev down to three goals in this game. Drops his save percentage. Middlestat now, Casey Middlestat. He will get that one in. Drops it for McKinnon. McKinnon stops and shoots. That's such a hard shot. Holy crap, we almost didn't save it. What's this giveaway by Wah? Come on, boys. An odd, a, a pretty one-sided lineup here from top line of Colorado to third line of Vegas but they get an opportunity there some really good passing again McKinnon and we absolutely rob Nathan McKinnon and the kid flashes the leather and oh my word do they show that replay no they do not we will come on EA a good save doesn't have to happen in, in full pressure look at the speed though he just coasts his way in Nathan McKinnon's over here he's covered by what looks like three possible players, and he just coasts in. Holds it on his backhand, flicks it, and the kid will make a big, big save. I don't think that was going wide. No, that had eyes. That would have gone off the po post. And just a beautiful split angle here. <laughs> Look at that. That is so sick. What a save from the young goaltender on Nathan McKinnon. Anytime he gets past the defenseman, he, I just don't know what he's going to do. He's so shifty. He's so quick. He's so creative. Even his AI. I know this is just AI, but believe you me, the AI, when you're rated like 98 overall in this game, your dude's crazy. Here we go. Barbashev. Barbashev! Ivan Barbashev with a feed from William Carlson gets his 10th goal of the year with a patient, creative backhand forehand. And I believe he pulled it back one more time. He did. Gets Gorgiev to just kind of freeze up and buries this one. We have four goals. So maybe the coach yelling at the players a little bit, even with that one, one goal lead in the first period. Look at the eyes of Barbashev. Can't believe it. Cheeks wide like a chipmunk. What the heck did I just see? Either way, Barbashev has his 10th now. Another good feed by William Carlson. He's had a game. A lone assist for Big Rig Bill. Now, third, second line remains on the ice for Golden Knights. Up to Druin from a turnover. Jonathan Druin. 
loses the puck with an errant turnover to William Carlson. Theodore spots Barbashev. Ivan Barbashev down the right side. Samuel Girard will poke that one off. What an effort here in the second period. This is what we needed against the Colorado team. We were lucky to get away with it only being a one, one goal period. But in the last few minutes, Vegas has really stepped it up and been putting the pressure onto the Vegas defenseman and goaltender. Carlson gets hit massively, drops his stick. Barbashev tries to hold on to that puck in the offensive zone, but he will lose it. Stone turning the other way, finds Carlson. Now some puck cycling to find space in the avalanche territory. Another turnover. And another one. Frick, I feel like we're up to 100 turnovers in this game. Nine minutes left in the second period. Eichel tries to get around the big Josh Manson. Killington. Killington over to Landeskog. Finds Duren. Duren will go for a skate. He decides to tip it off to Rantanen. The big power forward of... Actually, I don't even know what he's considered. He's a big boy who can score. Whatever you want to call that. Power forward's probably... Probably right, but he has a lot of skill, like a like a shooter and a playmaker. Stone now on net. Lands right on Hurdle's doorstep, but he just gets bumped off and goes wide, and it's an offside call as White Cloud tries to crawl that one on the blue line and loses it. All right, face-off just outside the Colorado zone. One by Colorado Manson now. Manson tries to find space. Another great effort there by Thomas Hurdle to strip that one away. Mark Stone gets it up, and it's Petrangelo, the defenseman, joining the rush. Petrangelo gets it back. Draw pass for Stone. Stone now spots Hurdle. The puck movement is wild with this top line. And that could be a penalty. Man, they really don't call any penalties, but it goes right back to Petrangelo, who never wants to fire the damn puck. They must have his offensive prowess turned to, like, 100% pass no matter what situation you're in. It's unbelievable to see sometimes. The dude's alone in front and it's like Mitch Marner syndrome just can't freaking. Oh my gosh, where's the puck? One save, two save, Nathan McKinnon, middle stat. Everybody crashing the net and we hang on. And another desperation moment for the Vegas Golden Knights. Here we go, face off to my left. William Carlson against, I don't even know who that is. Cotter? Who is that? I don't even know who's on the bottom six forward core for at Colorado. I don't think it's Cotter. I think Cotter's on, I don't even know. It's Colton. I know that, Ross Colton. Up to Miles Wood. I knew it started with a C. Samuel Girard now. Gets that back to Wood. Wood, a little fluffy shot. Didn't want to play it, but it looked good and he made the right decision. Holtz, do not turn back into your own zone. Let's get that puck out, boys. Oh no, Ross Colton. And the shutout bid is over because I'm a stupid head and played that freaking puck out when Petrangelo never knows what to do with it. And the man that I mistake, mistook for another player, Ross Colton. And it's just another brutal giveaway. Why does Alex Holt just not get that one down? I should not have ever played that puck. And now I'm being bumped by my own player, Petrangelo. And I get unsettled. And of course I do. That's the goal that breaks the shutout. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, I can't even get my pad down because the skate's on top of me, dude. I mean, look, I'll, I will take I will take ownership for that. I know the AI are not capable when they're tired of making a good passing play out of the seam. But we're all alone. I get to Petrangelo. He has Holtz along the boards. Holtz decides to turn back into our own zone. And there's the turnover. And there's the bad goal to give up. Ugh. Was such a good game going. I mean, it still is a fantastic game going. But I had it in the back of my mind. I thought, could we get a shutout against the very talented Colorado Avalanche? Not to be. Now we just got to hold on for two points. Three minutes left in the second period. Barbashev. Pressure now against Gerard. Gets help from his teammate. And Gerard will shuffle this one down. That is severely offside for Wood. That's one habit that I have that I need to break. Like, there's nothing wrong with a faceoff. Even if we lose the faceoff, it's still better than a turnover. And I just, I, I know subconsciously that Petrangelo doesn't make the right pass. And then I know our forward is not going to skate that one out. Nachushka now, through the neutral zone. Odd man rush here. Nathan McKinnon, backhand shovels it on net. He was pressured by the defenseman. A good little turning play to make sure that he doesn't get in even further all alone. Shovels it into the crest of the Golden Knights 
logo. Another face-off. Two minutes left. Makar now. And the floodgates are open, ladies and gentlemen. And as I expected, it does not take much. A set play again off the face-off. And maybe face-offs aren't as good as a turnover. Third goal of the season now by Kale Makar. It's a face-off cleanly won. Sets up. Two Vegas Golden Knights players go towards Valerie Nachushkin. And Hurdle tried going down on one knee, but he's not in the right spot. Just seeing eye from Kale Makar. And he pipes that one. And yeah, there's your points. Not great points coming out of anybody on that top line other than Nathan McKinnon. And even Nathan McKinnon being at 24 points at this point in the season compared to other players is really low. But on the 26 shot, Kale McCarr will get this back within two. It's been such a good period from the Golden Knights. A sloppy giveaway mistake from me when I should have held onto the puck. Gets them on the board. And then McKinnon's legs are now firing. He wins another faceoff leading to McCarr. We aren't done here yet in the second period. One minute left. And now this top line goes right back to work. Tries to throw it on net. Does count for a shot, surprisingly. 30 seconds left. Hannafin now. Noah Hannafin up to Hurdle. Hurdle stops, turns, gets that to Hannafin, who gets it down low. Six seconds left. Somebody shoot this puck. Stone fire. Somebody fire. I was going to fire. I was going to try and rip it down the ice, but that's going to be it for the second period. It's a really good period from Vegas. That's an unbelievable shot that just completely breaks down the, the young goaltender. But, I mean, 27 to 13 shots. Come on, guys. I know we got four goals, but I feel like we can get more towards the net than that. All right, third period next. Here we go. Face off. Back to Petrangelo. Petrangelo into the Colorado zone. And that's a trickler. And it's going to be Jack and these. Oh, Georgiev. I almost feel bad now as Jack Eichel will rip home. I don't even want to say rip. He shoots home his 14th of the season at 19 seconds into this third period. It's another great little saucer pass. I'm loving the play. But come on. Uh oh, it's not even. It's they put it in their backup goal. It's An Anunin or whatever you pronounce it. The young goaltender comes in and on likely his first shot, he's to the left, he relies on his blocker, and that just is such a bad goal to give up just as you come into the net. So Colorado opting to switch goalies at the start of this third period. I didn't see him in at the end of the second. I may have just missed it. But 14 goals propels him up into the mid parts of that top 10 goal scorers in the league. And Eichel continues his domination here in this season. Dump down low, the car first to the puck. Kicks out one around and it finds Gerard. Gerard now, up to Casey Middlestat. Middlestat now, tries to find space and we come across and rob Valeri Nichushkin. Unbelievable read, a tip in front, another blocker save. 29 shots now for the Colorado Avalanche. But the score is five to two, what a weird game. Talk about efficiency. Eichel now still getting the Boo Birds. I don't know what he did. Did I miss like a big hit or are they just booing it because it's Jack Eichel? Could be a mixture of both. Nichushka now tries to jump her across his man. And it's Theodore with a nice play. Gets it up to Carlson. Carlson has a step. Carlson cuts back to the middle to Holtz. And Holtz will backhand that on Anunin. All right, another good start to a period. First period was sluggish. Second period, we came out flying. Third period, we've come out flying. Let's just sustain this through 20 minutes together. Another 17.02. And we'll start our return to the West on a high note. Carlson now. Ooh, what a good rip and a great save there by the young goaltender. Perfectly placed. I saw that corner open. And it's just a great save. Drew in now. Oh, and thankfully, Petrangelo will... Rebound and get back. Landeskog, Gabriel Landeskog, captain, with the 30th shot now for the Avalanche in this game. Barbashev, Ivan Barbashev. One on one, one on two, really, loses the puck. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Petrangelo, is that a second? Oh, wait, was he injured early? Who got injured earlier? We're getting beat up in this one. Physicality, no way they, no way that McCarr just did that again. 
second of the night, Kale McCarr with that overpowered shot from the point. Oh, it broke a stick in front. Can my luck be any worse? Oh, it didn't. I don't even think it broke it. It just ripped it out of his hands. Wait, I want to watch that. Can, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you've seen a more unlucky goalie in any playthrough. Watch this. First of all, nobody's covering McKinnon or er, McCarr here again. Are the, that's your man, Barbashev. You're way to the left, poke checking. Who are you poke checking? There's nobody there. A blast as he sets up. I mean, it, it's a hard shot. We go to make the save. And is that our own defenseman again? Oh, what is the chances? He loses his stick too. It literally snaps his stick in half. That's how hard the shot was. <laughs> Look at that puck. Look at the redirection that puck did. Off the ground right in front of me and goes up. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh man, we can't catch a freaking break here as Colorado with a snap stick deflection. I was gonna say, I felt like I was in a great position. I thought he just cleanly beat us again, but oh my word, did that ever change direction. And McCarr up to second in the game, four on the season, literally doubling his goal to total at the expense of us. I mean, that's luck. That's that, you can't even be mad if that's the way your luck is. If I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. I tell myself that all the time. Wah, over to Theodore. Tries to fuck, tries to find his forward returning the favor. McKinnon now. Nathan McKinnon. They got some legs after the couple goals by the defenseman McCarr. Oh my gosh. I tell you, anytime I have like a possible shutout going and it ends, that's it. The floodgates just completely, the momentum just is just a killer in this game. Dorfeyev with a nice play. Can he kick that one down low? Has Cole start coming in to help him out? Will not, and Middlestad now turning back into his own zone. McKinnon into the corner. Killington, so defenseman jumping up now for Colorado, swapping positions with the superstar Nate McKinnon. Hag now, big hit along the boards. Have not seen Petrangelo since that big hit. Seems like he's probably done for the game. Drew in now. Bumped off. Manson bumped off. Hurdle now. With a step, the big body hurdle. In, across, and I mean, I want to celebrate these goals because they're great plays, but the goaltending for Colorado in this one, it, it is actually just art imitating life. Colorado's goalies have looked awful in the real NHL, and we come into this and that's either our third or fourth goal that the goaltender barely moves, tries to block it, gets a piece of it, and it goes in the net. This game is wild right now. What are we at? Six to three? Is that the score at the moment? Unbelievable stuff here. Six three with 11-21 in the third. Mark Stone, Mona Sisko to Hurdle. It's another great play by Hurdle. I just can't believe these goals are beating the goaltenders at the moment. I know this is the backup. Like, I think he's a rookie. Landeskog now. Gabriel Landeskog loses the puck. Another great play. It squirts free and McNabb now. Up to Hurdle. Hurdle over to Eichel. Eichel with a hard shot on net and a good kick save for our 20th of the game. O'Connor across to Ross Colton. Scored off a fluky goal earlier. Barbashev now loses the puck and is the puck got like rubber like you guys remember the movie flubber with robin williams does it have that on the puck today because the puck is bouncing off everybody's sticks like crazy mckinnon gets out oh barbashev please don't try and score on your old goaltender that wouldn't be very nice gerard pokes that free gets it back to his teammate mccarr line mate rather wood miles wood over to connor o'connor finds ross colton goes for a rip my guy is moving so much. Like all I'm doing is pressing right try like right trigger and going down. And look at the movement. Right trigger down. And he's just moving all over the universe. O'Connor. Big hit along the boards by I'm not even sure who landed that. It may have been Holtz. Dorofeyev now. Dorofeyev on net hits the mask of Anunin. 
up to McKinnon, who spots Nachushkin jumping over the boards. Nachushkin goes for that far side. Read that one cleanly and redirect it into the corner. 33 shots now with 6.30 left in the third period. Over and across to White Cloud. White Cloud now pressured by Nachushkin. He'll go behind the net. He gets crunched on the boards. EA, I'm begging you to put a hit slider in the game so I can turn these garbage checks off. Stone. Over to Hurdle. Hurdle has a step. He tries going backhand to forehand this time. And Anuman shuts the door. Hurdle to White Cloud. Blocked in front by Hurdle. Gets it back to Theodore. And another save for the young Tendi. Mason. Manson, sorry. Up to Nichushkin. Nichushkin breaks free. A fluffy shot off of another Vegas player. I swear, the bounces right now are unbelievable in this one. Hurdle. Thomas Hurdle. Redirects that towards the goaltender for the Colorado Avalanche, but it's picked up once again, and the hits are out of control. Killington, he's out of gas. <laughs> oh my gosh. These hits are such bogus, man. Is he is he gone? No, he's okay. He's just exhaust just got up now. McKinnon's exhausted. Change your players, Colorado. McCarr looking for that hat trick. Good play by White Cloud to make sure that doesn't happen. Three minutes left on the clock. Theodore spots Stone. Stone sends it for Hurdle. Hurdle under pressure at the blue line. Dumps it down low to Dorfe. I have a mixed line here for the Vegas Golden Knights. Theodore winds up, and he will beat the goaltender as well. Now, that was a good play in front for our player. I think that was Dorfe, who slid back into the eyes of the goaltender. But Shea Theodore rips it and sends it in for a second. And that is a seeing eye as he beats the goaltender blocker low. And these EA one-time, or not one-timers, but shots from the point are so ridiculous this year. And for the young goaltender, some boobers for that one going in. Second of the night for Theodore. We got a 7-3 game. It's almost, I did not expect this coming out of the, of the Colorado game. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I did not see this coming. Fifth now for Shea Theodore. Ranted in, wins that faceoff, gets it back to Brunstrom. Brunstrom. Holy crap. Nearly does a backflip. Huge hit from Eichel. And these hits are atrocious, man. Holy jumpins. Hurdle now behind the net. Stone comes in to help him out. Stone in front to Eichel. Gets a tip, but it's blocked. 120 left on the clock here. Over to Druen. <coughs> Excuse me. Jonathan Druen. In. Curl. Toe drag shot. Blocked by Theodore. Theodore's having a great game. Carlson now. William Carlson shoves off Ranson and goes for a skate. Gets it across to Alex Holtz. Holtz now returns the favor to Carlson. Pass for Hag. The puck movement right now by Vegas is what's really enjoyable. It's very cool to see them actually utilizing their positions, dropping in and out of the slot, trying to find that extra man. When you score seven goals, you must be doing something right. Even if the goals are a little fluffy. 7 3 31.3 on the clock. Here's that big hit. Oh my gosh. Every hit is just insane. 18 points for Kale McCarr, the defenseman ahead of the other top six forwards. The only one not beating him or not behind him. Oh my. Good lord. Make it stop. Put the Zamboni driver in the net. That's another horrible goal. It's another point shot. A tip in front. Hag gets this one on. And Holt's coming through. I mean, look at the positioning the AI has, though. Body facing the shooter. Gets his stick in a perfect... That's a good tip. Nearly flat blade. But, I mean, the goaltenders for Colorado right now, man. Holy. You can hear the boo birds are just destroying the goaltenders at the moment. Eight to three with 20 something seconds left oh my word an annihilation in denver the boys went out east and are coming back for a vengeance hag now puck lost barbashev back in front to holtz who spots mcnab mcnab tries a shot on net it's blocked in front barbashev pushed off and squirts to carlson mcnab over to hag back to barbashev and finally a save from this goaltender i feel like he hasn't had any since he's joined the game so Winnipeg, Utah are up next. 
Colorado scoring three against us in this one. I would say only one I would like to have back. The other ones are like, what are you going to do? A, a, a slot shot breaks a dude's stick and it puts the puck in a perfect location. But a good win for us nonetheless. We return to the West and start things off strong. You can see the frustration now for the Colorado players. And there's a little group hug. Hard work from the boys. First period of slugfest, but we hang on and the boys do the rest. Eight goals in this one for Vegas. Let's go, baby. Two wins in a row. It's been a while since we were able to say that we've won two games in a row. We're back. We're back and we're feeling good. Thanks very much for that perspective there. Uh, back to the phone. There's the walk back to the dressing Brando room. 9-11 save percentage. Welcome definitely the not the worst stats at all, especially when you have a team like that who you can see. I mean, McCarr just takes over. When they decide that it's their time, it's their time. All right, let's go ahead and simulate to our next start. Winnipeg up next. Let's see if the boys can pull off a win against a 14-7-2 identical record to the Vegas team. Somebody's got a break. Who is it? It's going to be Winnipeg who breaks and Vegas picks up their 15th win now. Second in the league against the 31st Utah Hockey Club. Do we get another start against Utah? We do not. So they're they're going with a different strategy here. Oh, please do not put me. Okay. Another win by Aiden Hill. I mean, these boys are just absolutely rocking the house right now. Let's look at these let's look at these games. So December is upon us. We have officially made it to the Wintry season. So 8 3, 6 1, 4 0. Aiden Hill with the back to back. 6 1 and 4 0. So, as we mentioned when we got the start against Montreal, they do not like putting in the backup for back to back games. And what's interesting here is it's back to back followed by back to back. And we're not getting the Edmonton start. So, I don't know when we're going to be in the net next. All right, boys, can they pull off a win and jump Edmonton? They do, 17-7-2, and, and we're not starting the... What is happening right now? 6-4 win for Aiden Hill. He's on fire. All right, it looks like we may have just won that as well. Oh, I'm never going to play again. It's I'm never going to get a start. The boys are riding high right now. Nothing but respect. Is that another win, 19-7-2? We got to be in first in the Pacific. If we're not first in the Pacific, I don't know what the heck's going on with this team. We are first by three points. Kraken, leapfrog. Did you see Kraken are three points ahead of Oilers? What is happening in the Pacific? All right, next up, Winnipeg once again. Do we get the start against the Winnipeg Jets? We have a week off, and then they're finally putting well, us in. So 19 Seven and two are the Vegas Golden Knights, and we will head for another away game. Sorry, buddy. I know you're looking for that home start with the red jersey. It's going to have to wait as we get another away start against the Winnipeg Jets, who are having a great season themselves. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. It's been a blast so far. Let's see where we're into the, into the Christmas month now. We're nearly into that January All-Star game. And some fun things around the corner. So make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. Like and comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. And until the next video, take care of yourselves. And we'll catch you back here in the next one. Bye, guys.